Right, so in this video I'm going to quickly show you uh, how to do those uh, four questions on the uh, uh, latest assignment sheet uh, regarding banning moment and shear forces. So um, this is uh, uh, question one. Um, on question one, you are uh, given a uh, A cantilever like this with a fixed end at the uh, left end and then you have two concentrated loads right there at about uh, one third of the uh, span length and two third of the span length and then at the right end it's uh, completely free so as this is fixed uh, you should realize uh, there are three uh, reactions uh, Rx, Ry, and that's your M. So your first step, um, suppose uh, you're already familiar with the uh, uh, sign convention, so I'm not going to write down the sign convention anymore. So that's step one. In step one, you, you calculate all these uh, free reactions using equilibrium. So obviously, Rx is zero because there's no horizontal force at all on the structure. And then Ry, you can see the vertical equilibrium. So Ry plus those are the two concentrated loads. So Ry is going up to its positive and then minus p and minus p uh, that will be zero so ry is simply equal to 2p right and then you consider rotational equilibrium about any one point it's uh, always up to you to choose which point so in this particular example let me uh, consider rotation about the left end okay so uh, p times this p times the distance from the left end that's uh, L over 3 plus another concentrated load times 2 third of the length so times 2 third of L and then um, those two are in the uh, uh, clockwise direction and then you have also an anti-clockwise movement there at the fixed support which is uh, given the symbol M so those two movements and the fixed end movements are in the opposite direction so they are of the opposite sign so those three terms set up to zero due to rotational equilibrium and you can find out right away uh, the magnitude of the fixed end moment. So M is just uh, P over 3 uh, plus 2P L over 3. So that's equals to PL. So step 1 is done. And then in this question, you are asked to say, for example, you are asked to find out the bending moment at this point. Okay, the middle between the left support and the first uh, concentrated load and the bending moment of shear force there and there okay and of course in this video I'm not going to show you how to do uh, uh, calculate the bending moment of shear force at all these points I'll just try to do let's say uh, the uh, uh, bending moment of shear force at the middle of the beam okay so to calculate the bending moment shear force at this particular point, so what you do is uh, cut your structure into two parts, just like this, and then you consider uh, the right part or the left part. Okay, and it's always up to you to choose uh, which part you'd like to draw your free body diagram. So I, as I've mentioned many times. You always try to pick one that is uh, easier to handle. So let's hand take this uh, right part. So in step two, 
okay, to calculate the batting moment at the mid span. So you take the right part and then you draw it here. And that's your P. And that's your cutting point, right? And that's length here. It's L over 3. And that length from the uh, concentrated low up to the point where you cut your structure should be uh, L over 2 uh, minus L over 3. So what would that be? L over 2 minus L over 3 it's uh, L over 6. Right? So and then at this particular point uh, we assume a positive bending moment according to our sign convention a positive bending moment it's sagging uh, so it goes like this this is your assumed positive bending moment and then your assumed uh, positive shear force F okay and that's your complete uh, free body diagram for the right part of your beam okay and then you set up as usual your vertical and horizontal equilibrium so F is going up minus P it's zero right so F it's simply equal to P okay and then you try to find out this M so you can see the rotation about say this point the cutting point okay so P times L over 6 that will give you a clockwise moment about this point right P times L over 6 and then don't forget about this M which is also in the clockwise direction so both of them are of the same direction so you add these two together and they sum up to zero okay so M is just minus PL over 6 so equilibrium tells you that M actually is negative so what does that mean? that means the bending moment at this particular point is actually hawking okay and the shear force there is positive so the shear force there is correct it's left up right down okay so this is uh, the uh, shear force is positive P and the moment there is negative that means hawking according to our sign convention of bending moment right so you can repeat the same things for the uh, uh, the other point uh, between the left support and the first concentrated low or uh, for uh, this particular point close to the free end okay just cut it there and then consider the left part or the right part or if you want to find out the bending moment there take this the right part or the whole left part okay and then you write sketch your free body, bump, the free body diagram and write down your equilibrium equations just like that okay